My name is uh, Rashmi Misri. Uh, we've been members for Variety Village just over 20 years because of my daughter who is with special needs. Uh, going back 20 years ago, we found this facility. We came to this facility. It was best facility for the family, basically. So we are a family member here. So we've been over for 20 years. My daughter goes to a, a school just down the road, which is called Hope Center. So going back in 2021, February 2021, I suffered a stroke at home. Uh, luckily that uh, my family was there and all that. So I was taken to a nearby hospital, Scarborough Grace. I spent about 10 down days in Scarborough Grace and then I, I was uh, transferred to Providence, which is a rehab center. Uh, that facility, I was there for six weeks. They told me in six weeks that I'll be going back home. Uh, when I suffered a stroke and all that, I had absolutely no balance at all. I could not stand up. I could not even walk. What Providence did to me in six weeks was just great. Every day I was getting my physiotherapy, my occupational therapy and all that. They really worked hard on me, you know, every day like gradually, gradually, you know, uh, standing up, getting my balance with the occupation therapy. A couple of weeks down the road, I could stand up, I could make a few steps and all that. So gradually I started walking and all that, right? They taught me everything. Providence taught me everything because what they said to me after six weeks, when you go home, you'll be doing things on your own. Number one is walking up the staircase, coming down the staircase, how to do that and all that, right? Walking outside as well. So that was good. And also, other thing was that dressing up myself as well. I could not dress up myself as well at the time. He said also taking the shower by yourself. So they taught me all that. Just an incredible, uh, you know, facility that was. I came back home after six weeks from Providence. We were in COVID in 2021. Everything was shut down. I could not get any physiotherapy done and all that. There was no physio, everything was shut down and all that. I bought a walker for myself and I was walking with my wife and my family, my, my daughter and all that. So I used to go walking every day. Gradually I started to build up and all that. My goal was to build up my stamina. So slowly, slowly I, I did that and you know, Providence, they opened the facility back in October and all that as an outpatient. I was there in outpatient in October, November 2021. Once a week I was going there again with physiotherapy, occupational therapy. After that I was on my own and then Variety Village was closed at that time. They opened to members so I started coming here every day Monday to Friday. My wife used to drop me off first thing in the morning. So I came here every day do my workout on my own and all that. Every Sunday's family we started coming swimming down here you know and we still come uh, to swim here. I started doing my own workout by myself. What what the uh, physiotherapy taught me at Providence. So I continued at Variety Village walking around the track field and all that. Doing exercise, different exercises at the cardio room and all that. Building up my stamina and all that. I met so many great people at Variety Village who went through a stroke like me. We talked about every day. That gave me and encouraged me basically to move forward and all that. I was improving, it took me time. Getting a stroke is not just you can get better the next day and all that. It's a process, it's a slow process. It's just one day at a time. So I started, you know, taking one day at a time and all that. After a few months and all that, gradually I, I got better and better. My goal was to go back to work and also get my driver license, etc. That was my ambitions to do that. Uh, once I achieved that, I was ready to go to work. I started work three months ago on a gradual basis, increasing, you know, every week and all that. And now I work full time. So blessed, even at work, I still do my exercise. I still go out for a walk and all that still not and i still have to get better as time goes on i get much better and better i'm looking forward to that and this facility is one of the best facility in ontario there's no other facilities like that and the people here who work here the staff they're so great that helped me basically to get through this far what i've done my wife when we i'm going before uh, pandemic and all that she used to come in to zumba here my daughter we used to do work uh, one on one we used to bring her once a week and all that i have two sons they started doing Taekwondo here. They're both black belt now, <laughs> you know, which is good, right? And uh, I use this facility basically to, you know, even before the pandemic and all that, I used to come every day to my workout and all that and go back to work. That's what I did basically, you know. And I, I think what really helped me is after my stroke and all that, what helped me is because I was coming, coming to this facility to do my workout and all that, right? And that really helped me basically 
get better and better, right? And I've, I've come so far. My my stroke wasn't uh, wasn't like a mild stroke and all that. It was from moderate to severe. Just over two years it's been now, and uh, what I've achieved is just amazing. You know, going back to work specially and the company that I work for is just a blessing. The company is good. Uh, what they said to me is, take your time. When you're ready, you can come back to work. The food trucks we always come here every you know. Uh, October and all that. We enjoy the food trucks outside and all that. Uh, we also participated in uh, Christmas parties as well. Before pandemic, we used to come every Christmas party and all that. Yes, we have done that. Yeah. Also, the other thing was we participated. I don't know when there was a five kilometers walk and all that. So we also did that as well during that time. Yes, I, I got three children. Uh, my my wife just a blessing. She's a hardworking lady. You know, she looks after her family. She once I suffered a stroke and all that. She really looked after me as well. She did all the work. I could not do any work at home after my stroke and all that. But basically, she she did everything in the house. And you know, she also continued with her work as well, working full time. So she never gave her gave her, her, her work as well. She is still working as a full time. The other good thing is that she drops my daughter off in the morning every day. Goes to work. After work, she picks her up and brings her home. So I, I have a special message for other stroke patients. You know, it doesn't matter what kind of strokes do you have, whether mild or whatever kind of stroke. Just be positive. And what do you want to achieve? You know, your goal. Go for it. Don't stop for it. Just go for it. Take one day at a time. Don't say, you know, uh, uh, let me see if I get better in a week and all that. No, it takes such a long time. But just be positive. Get the uh, support from your family, your friends, and all that. You can achieve whatever you want to do. This this facility, like I say, you know, I met so many people. There's so many people with different uh, disability who come here, whether they're in a, a cane or a walker or a wheelchair and all that. Any age. I've seen them, and uh, they inspire you. Inspiration is the most, you know. That's what you need. Inspiration, yeah. So when I see people with different ages come down here, you know, uh, I am seeing them walking and whatever they do, and here they still come here rather than staying at home. You know, they use this facility. Yeah, <clears throat> be positive and motivate yourself every day. That's the most important thing in life. Thank you.